Welcome to our worship service today. This week we celebrate the second week of Advent in our worship service of God with us, and the theme is Our Shepherd. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This second week of Advent, we light the candle of peace. And today we remember the prophets who spoke of the coming of Christ, of how a Savior would be born a king in the line of King David. And we know that the prophet Isaiah called Christ the Prince of Peace. And the prophets told us how he would rule the world wisely and bless all the nations. Now in just a second, you're going to see some of our youth light our Advent wreath. And I invite you to watch that and I'll be right back. The second candle is called Peace. Just as we get our homes and churches Ready for Christmas, we also get our hearts ready for baby Jesus. Dear God, help us to prepare and feel your peace. Amen. Jesus said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. And that comes from Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, if you want to look that up in your Bible. Christ comes as God with us to bring us peace in this life and the promise of everlasting peace. And we light the candle of peace to remind us that Jesus is the Prince of Peace and that through him real peace is found. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, light of the world, the prophets proclaimed your coming as bringing the gift of peace to your people. Coming Savior, give us peace in our hearts at Christmas. Remain present with us and help us today to hear your word, to do your will by sharing your peace with all. We ask this in the name of the one who was born in Bethlehem. Amen. Now, if you notice, just right over, oops, camera's backwards, over my shoulder, we have the window at St. John of Jesus carrying the sheep. And he, Jesus is a shepherd. So I'm going to invite you to look at that picture of the shepherd. And I want you to um, notice what he's doing. Now, if you were here in person, I would ask you, but you could probably answer right now if you want to. And if you don't, I will tell you that he's taking care of the sheep. And he's carrying the lamb because maybe the lamb is hurt or scared or maybe it's been lost or afraid 
And if you were the lamb, what would you like best about being with Jesus like that? Now, Jesus, as I said, is often called the good shepherd. And what does a shepherd do for the sheep? He takes care of them. That's right, protecting them, leading the sheep to places so that they can find food and water. He looks to find them if they get lost. And did you know that people are called sheep? We're called Jesus' sheep. And Jesus protects us, he leads us, he finds us, he forgives us, and most importantly, Jesus loves us. And I'm sure there's a whole list of things you can think of that Jesus does for you. And what do you think we should say to Jesus when we think of his love and his care for us? Well, of course, we thank him. And we can, of course, praise him for all of the love and protection that he offers us. Jesus loves us so much that he went to the cross to forgive us and he promises us life in heaven with him. I invite you to please pray right after me. Jesus, our shepherd, thank you for loving me and going to the cross for me and promising me life and forgiveness. Help me always to follow you. Amen. Now, if you look in your Sunday school kits, you would get something that looks like this in a bag. And that is um, a Talk to the Shepherd lamb craft kit. And um, you can glue the pieces together. After you take them all apart, you can glue this kit together and you can make your own sheep. Um, so that would be your craft. And a reminder that we do still have our contest going for our gingerbread houses. So if you want to do your kit up and take some pictures and send them into the church, we'd like to put them up on our website and people are going to vote for the best one and you get to vote too. So, so I invite you to do that if you would like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pray the Lord's Prayer together and I will say a line and then I'll have a pause. And when I stop, that's when you get to repeat it after me. So we get to learn the Lord's Prayer and pray it together. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now receive the benediction. Now may God fill you with his power, guide you as your shepherd, comfort you with his peace, and may Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and always. Amen. Thanks for joining me for our worship service today. I hope you have a great time putting the craft together, and I thank you so much for being you and being a sheep just like me. We will follow our shepherd, Jesus, wherever we go. Amen. Have a great day.